it's me Jacqueline. I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to Dreams of Music and Makeup, or welcome here if this is your first video with me. Today I thought we would try out a new foundation together. I stumbled upon this in my local Rite Aid and picked it up. This is the new Revlon Colorstay Full Cover Foundation. This reminded me of my first ever foundation purchase. My first ever foundation I wore that was not just like a sponge that I dipped my finger in to cover blemishes was actually a Revlon Color Stay in a squeeze tube just like this. I believe it was part of their active line and that was the only foundation I wore, I wanna say before the age of 18. That was the only one and it has since been discontinued but I was really excited to see this packaging thinking that it might be a similar thing. So we're gonna test it out together. Claims to be, let's see, well it says full cover and then it does say specifically full coverage foundation. The only complaints I have heard thus far on this guy is that it's not as full coverage as they expected. So we will see how that goes. It says up to 24 hour wear, no caking or fading, lightweight and it blends seamlessly. I picked up the shade Sand Beige, which is the shade 210. I have mixed shades of the Revlon Color Stay Foundation for years, and this one seemed to be right in between their pre-existing ones. So we're gonna go for it together, see how I did for matching myself without any testers. I believe this is a 10 or $13 foundation, which was kind of surprising, but Revlon Color Stay, I believe, has been around that price point for quite some time. I did ensure that it was sealed before I left. That is a lesson I learned many, many years ago shopping drugstore. Not everyone is courteous, and a lot of times you pay for something and not realize that it's open until you get home, so I make it a habit to check. Let's see what this texture looks like, shall we? Oh, it is kind of whipped. That's interesting. Let's use this number seven Airbrush Away Radiance Boosting Primer because I have used this with a lot of different things and I already know I enjoy it. It's not too dewy, but it does impart a glow while kind of smoothing any large pores or anything like that. I just did my first round of actual microdermabrasion with that little device I picked up on Amazon. Prior to this, I had used one of the little plastic attachments that's just like a suction to kind of clear my pores but today was the first day that I used the little diamond tips and actually did microdermabrasion on my entire face and I feel like it went pretty well. The learning curve is a little different when there's not someone there to teach you like in aesthetic school but I will say the suction is pretty strong so if you're not careful and you don't know what you're doing you could very easily give yourself a hickey Using my clean Maybelline Studio Blender, we're gonna pick some of this up. You know what? I think I did a really good job of matching myself. I applied Self Tanner two days ago now. This is applying pretty beautifully. I will say it's, it's definitely more on the light side of medium coverage. You can see I have a couple of blemishes healing on my forehead that it's just not completely camouflaging. Staying true to the Revlon Color Stay name, this does seem to set pretty quickly, so you will want to work in sections, kind of like I'm doing, rather than kind of dotting it all over and then working it in. This reminds me a lot of the more moussey texture of the Revlon Color Stay, the one in a jar. It definitely reminds me of that, or like the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse. The texture is quite similar. I do prefer the squeeze tube as opposed to the jar, so that's fine by me. I'm just gonna try to build in a couple of areas where I need some more coverage. I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I've been really enjoying this so far, and I like to kind of let it sit for a minute before I blend it in. This helps to let the product thicken slightly before blending it out so it doesn't go as far. Oxidization is when 
this keeps getting darker and darker throughout the day. This doesn't do that. What this does do is it does darken a little bit as it dries. So you can see the color on my applicator is significantly lighter than this color on my skin, though it is the same product. So I'm going to apply a tiny bit to this blemish here, as well as this one, because this foundation is just not quite as full coverage as I would like for blemishes. And you'll see this now is looking like the same color as that. This one's close behind. I'm in the light category of ColourPop concealers. If you are fairer than me, you're gonna wanna go with the fair category because to my understanding, all of the concealers do do this to a certain degree. So you wanna take that into account when you're ordering your shade. I did order too light at first and had to go darker. Everything looks really good to me. Looks like they're meshing well together. I'm gonna go ahead and set, do my eyebrows and a couple of things, and then I'll get back with you for some face products. Alrighty, dreamers, I've got some brows on and my under eye is set. I'm ready to put some stuff on my face. It does feel like this has set down nicely. While there is just a slight tackiness to it, I'm not feeling anything that feels like it's going to pick up. So. I'm going to try to apply color products without setting this foundation. I was looking on Revlon's website and there wasn't a whole lot of details, but when I went to the Amazon site and found this listing, I was able to find a little bit more detail for you, so I'm gonna read this off my screen. Revlon Color Stay Full Cover Foundation provides an amazing full coverage perfected look that lasts all day long. This foundation easily glides onto skin and blends seamlessly for an even matte finish. Featuring a uniquely velvety texture, it's formulated to provide all-day hydration, leaving your skin feeling moisturized and always looking fresh. ColorStay Full Cover Foundation lasts up to 24 hours with full coverage that moves with your skin, providing comfort without caking. It even withstands heat and humidity. The result is a flawless matte complexion that remains comfortable all day long. Available in 16 beautifully matched tones for every complexion. While I admire them for having 16 shades, which is quite numerous at the drugstore, that is definitely not for every complexion. I believe this is the third from the lightest shade, if I am not mistaken. They do have differing undertones, so definitely keep that in mind as you're looking at that display. I would say that this is less than full coverage, in my opinion. It is not as full coverage as I would like to see when a brand advertises itself as such. This to me is more of a low medium coverage. It is a little bit buildable. I do really enjoy this formula so far. I like that it set itself. This does remind me of what I used to wear as far back as that was. This is a similar product as I have used in that amount of time, so very funny. Maybe it's that same old formula way back when that they just brought out again. Makeup companies have done worse. Anyway, e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer. This is a beautiful $6 bronzer from e.l.f. Cosmetics. I really, really enjoy it. It suits me even better now that I have a little bit of self-tanner on. Oh, one thing I did read on the Revlon website that was not included in this little blurb I found on Amazon is that it has a primer infused into the foundation, which I found interesting. I hadn't heard that claim before. I'm sure there are other foundations that have made that same claim, but none that I recall. While I didn't set my face with anything while I was off camera, I did add a little bit of concealer to the center of my nose. I just had a little bit too much redness peeking through for my personal level of comfort, so I did do that while I was off camera. Sorry for not mentioning that earlier. I meant to. I do still have some redness peeking through. It's not enough to bother me. Like I've said before, I don't try to mask everything completely. I think that looks really fake. 
So I enjoy leaving some color peeking through just because you are human and I don't want it to look like I'm wearing a mask personally. Really into this Anastasia and Amrezy highlighter lately, so I'm gonna go in with that on my Wet n Wild highlighting brush. I like to do this before blush because it blends a little better. I'm seriously still obsessed with this e.l.f. blush. It's all I've been wearing over and over. Every time I don't reach for it, I regret not reaching for it. So I just figured I'd feature it in another video because it's that good. <laughs> Definitely pick this one up if you stumble upon it. I believe it's sold out online right now, but so worth it to stock it or add it to one of those sites that lets you know when it comes back in. I don't believe e.l.f. does that yet. If they do, please let us know down below. That's a new thing if they started doing that. Just because I prefer the look of it and it blends everything out even further, I'm going to dip into this Milani Prep Set and Glow Powder with this brush that I just use to set my face generally. And all I'm going to do is swirl right here to blend this blush so that it fades into nothing right there. And I'm going to do that on both sides. Just makes everything appear so much more seamless. I'm gonna do a little bit of Fix Plus just to anchor those products before going in with some mascara. Nothing says summer's here quite like a neon lip. <laughs> I'm wearing the Wet n Wild Mega Last Lip Color in the shade Just Peachy, which is the shade 903C. I believe this is a new color. Is a little neon for my taste, but I thought it was fun for this video. And then I topped that with a little bit of the Goddess Gloss in Fairy, this pink shimmery gloss. So that's what's on my lips. I did go ahead and finish up the face with some mascara. I am wearing my tried and true favorite, the Maybelline Great Lash Lots of Lashes on my upper and lower lash line. And I think this looks really nice. I'm going to see how this holds up for me today. I may or may not do check-ins. Depends on what I end up filming for you guys. But I am going to go eat some lunch. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If I am back for check-ins, awesome. Just Bentley and I checking in. Darcy's jealous because she's right here. Come here. Alright, we got it. We got the whole fam. Well, daddy's on his way. But. Get your hand out of my shirt. I just wanted to check in briefly. Let's see, we've had this makeup on for, I wanna say six or seven hours now, and I will say the foundation still looks amazing. Like it hasn't settled anywhere, it looks fine. I won't say it's completely transfer resistant, though I feel like it could make that swing if I just set it with a powder, which I didn't do. That being said, I really do like this based on first impression. I wouldn't say it's as full coverage. Maybe if I apply a ton of it, it would be different, but I don't tend to cake on foundation anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed this brief review, or, well, not a review. I hope you guys enjoyed this first impression. If you guys have tried out this foundation, let us know your thoughts down below as well as your skin type so we have a little bit of context. Thanks so much for being here. I hope you hit the like button before you go. That helps me out a lot. And consider subscribing. I would love to have you along for two beauty videos a week. And leave any requests for new content in those comment section down below. Go take care of these crazy pups who are just being rather rambunctious. And I hope you're having a wonderful day or evening, wherever you are. I hope you keep dreaming. And I'll see you in my next video.